Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel. This is a weekly love and general situation ship fair reading session for you Virgo. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today, it is for the Virgo sign. Let us see what's happening towards you Virgo. What is the message for you? What can I get for Virgo, please? What is the intuitive message for you in love and general situationship, career, finance? What is the message for you, okay? Before I start, I would like to thank you guys for coming back. Thank you so much for your support. Thanks for being here. Guest viewers, if you haven't, click the subscribe button in the bell. Please, please do it now if you're interested and if you are keen. And if you would like to further connect with me, Virgo, I invite you to also um, subscribe or join our mailing list. It can be done by the website. In the website, you will see our setting intention manifestation candle. This is free shipping worldwide and it comes with a free birth chart reading. So if you're interested to find out how to use the setting intention candle, um, the link is down in the description box below. And also Virgo, I ask you to be very vigilant because there is an Instagram account that's pretending to be me. Please check who you follow in the Instagram account. And if you've been added uh, by someone who has the same look and probably username, that's not me. So I suggest guys to please block report before they could spread the, the low vibe energy. So let's protect our channel, our tarot community um, with this imposter. Okay, so thanks for listening. Now, um, let's get into your reading Virgo. Let's look at your situation. Okay, uh, this is actually a very big week for us because we've got the new moon today, Aquarius, Aquarius new moon. And then you've got also today is the Chinese uh, lunar new year or the Chinese new year. And then after two days, Mercury will no longer be in retrograde. So if you look back, uh, Venus no longer retrograde, Mercury no longer retrograde, and you've got the new moon. So it seems to be we are headed towards a forward motion. Okay, so if you feel like you've been downwardly stuck, now no more stagnant. It seems to be uh, a gush of forward motion energy. It's coming towards for the month of February 2022. I also feel like if there's some sort of changes with your plan, maybe you set a goal uh, for you know for January. Um, if you feel like, you know, recalibrating it, you know, um, changing it, this is a very auspicious time to do it, the new moon in Aquarius, okay? The new Aquarius sign is very thinking out of the box. It is cutting edge. So use your smart, your intelligent um, energy, Virgo, to plan out what is the next 28 days for you, okay? All right, okay. So let's start your reading. You've got the Seven of Cups. You've got the Two of Wands in reverse and the Four of Pentacles. I feel like there's a hidden information. Okay, Seven of Cups. You're confused, you know. Um, I feel like you're dealing with a person or a situation or an offer where you feel both excited and nervous. And also you're quite feeling like it's... Um, fill in the blank or there's some there's something that is still void there's a missing piece on how you understand the situation there's a missing piece that you could not make it up okay but you know seven of cups two of wands four of pentacles like it is so hard i'm really finding someone is finding it difficult to release the situation or you know it's it's still in a processing stage so it's quite you know, it's it's too early to release or detach or to let go or to give up when there is excitement and anticipation and eagerness. But there's also a feeling of, you know, you are somehow blindsided because you could not make it up right now. Something tells me that the person, the situation, the offer you're involved with, it is revolving. It is in process. It is ever evolving. You know, there's a from time to time, you get an update and you get excited every time you get something from this situation or person. So, so it's too soon to exit. I'm getting like four of pentacles, like there is so much more that might happen if you just allow things to fall into places. Okay, like it's too soon to 
conclude or it's too soon to release a person a situation your current energy is the five of swords <laughs> i feel like virgo you're really trying your best to understand or to solve the missing piece of information uh five of swords i don't think this is a low vibe energy i just really feel like you're trying to be proactive you know like in the five of swords energy i feel like you are so into what's gonna happen what's the result you know um you're trying to sneak into um like you're trying to have like you're trying to be nosy or to peek to take a peek of what's gonna happen you know like squeeze in the details and information to know what's the possible outcome or to know what's the outcome okay so you're quite you're a bit proactive, like extra, extra, specially proactive to get to know something that might still be in process, okay? Now, um, the mutual energy between you and your person or the external situation is the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, okay? So, Knight of Pentacles in reverse, this is a missed opportunity or... It also represents an opportunity that hasn't really presented itself because like what I said, it seems to be that it is still in a processing development and um, it's on its way. And in here, your five of swords, so you're trying to get something that's not yet fully cooked for you, okay? There's an element that you might wait a little bit you know, you might give it some time to bake, to fully bake, to present itself in a gift wrap or super duper presentable. Because Knight of Pentacles, I don't think this is a missed opportunity. I feel like it's more of not yet ready. Don't take up, you're, you're taking a peek or looking into something that it's, it's like you're, you know, looking into the oven, you keep looking into the oven. Is it baked? Is it baked? And every time you open the oven, it interrupts the temperature. So it would affect the rise of the dough. So the situation that you're dealing with, the person that you're dealing with, it is rising. It is baking. And it got interrupted every time you try to somehow manipulate or do something or trigger something to get to get it like okay is it done you open the you open the oven and you pull and check it and then you bring it back so it kind of interrupt the process something tells me that you're involved in a person or in a situation where sun card in reverse they'd prefer for things to fall into places in an organic way in a natural way you know um, going with the flow it's really really is some sort of advisable in your situation and patient patient is a virtue let's let's clarify the um your person's energy okay the sun card in reverse seven of pentacles the three of pentacles and the four of swords um right now the person or the situation that you're dealing with it seems to be they're quite stuck they're not uh making any effort in your situation um i feel like they're quite lost in translation okay i don't think this person is upset with you i don't think it is you i feel like it's more of them who you know when you stop doing something and you want to go back you don't know where to start so that is the vibe i'm getting from your person or your situation um four of swords in reverse i feel like this person is worried how to start how to continue yeah um, how to continue with who you, with you, how to connect, how to do it again. The lover's card, there's so much like Virgo, I want to continue it, I want to do it, how? Um, I feel like your person is somehow or your situation is um, lost in translation. If this is some sort of paperwork, um, offer, business transaction, if you are focused or if you know in the next two weeks you're kind of focused with your objective connected to work or money or career or maybe friends or family but whatever this is it's more of yes i would like to get in touch with you virgo i would like to connect with you i would like to work with you i would like to be with you i would like to do it all over again i just don't know how to start like your person is quite stuck 
and not able to ground and pick up where you guys left off okay so the lover's card yes i would like to continue it i just don't know how to do it you know the hidden energy is the chariot card they're quite stuck you know they don't know how to start with you again yeah king of wands ace of swords um it's probably needing time virgo ace of swords the king of wands i feel like the more you give the person the situation time to organically pick up where you left off this person then will be able to figure things out on their own you know but i understand you if you're quite um temperamental or there's a part of you where you want to speed things up because you are in the waiting area you know you have you're in queue you know you're you're kind of waiting in here you're ready you know there is a chatter you know like there's a there's a voice in your head like there's an overthinking a voice chattering in your head what's next when is the next update when will i get it you know there's a lot of that that you're processing inside your mind and i couldn't really blame you because you know it's hard or it's kind of challenging to be sitting in a waiting area and you're giving the person the situation like you, you, you're, you're somehow, you don't know when they will be ready. But what I see in here, they will be ready. And it's because you've got the, you know, you've got the Ace of Swords, the King of Wands. You know, it could be March for some of you. March, April, May. I'm seeing like a very strong um, reconnection, proposal, offer that's coming your way. It's a definitely yes, I want to work with you, want to continue it. I just don't know how to do it. It's possible that this person is also pulling their pulling all of their resources to solidify their act. Okay. In the immediate future, predictive outcome and advice, nine of wands. I feel you. I feel you, Virgo, being guarded, being you're feeling left alone because it's hard or challenging to sit and watch the world develop. Because in here, I'm ready. And the person I'm dealing with or the process that I'm connected with, it's still baking. It's still cooking. If you, you know, it's a, it's a feeling, you know, judgment card in reverse, Virgo. You put a kettle, you put a water, and you, you watch the kettle boil, you know. And it is somehow not a pleasant view and a bit impatient to watch it boil. But if you leave that it will naturally do its work so in this reading you might be uh, you might be needing to you might be needing to deal with your availability because in this reading you're so available for someone or you're av you have an open space so if things aren't working on the other side the one that you're connecting dealing um waiting then you have that full responsibility five of swords so instead of focusing on pulling it to make it or to trigger it to happen very soon when it's not fully big you know judgment card try to fill in that space of waiting into something productive okay so yeah i hope it makes sense i hope you've connected with me this is what i got for you virgo thank you so much for tuning in thanks for being here i'll see you soon guys you have a great day bye bye